This is the real Tom Rose, and this particular problem deals with the idea of a remainder. And remainders can become quite confusing. There are explicit formulas for remainders, but I find them to be so complex that it's usually preferable to think of remainders in logical terms. So here's, here's one way to think of a remainder in logical terms. First, let's define some terminology. Uh, when you do a division problem, there are two components. There's the dividend, which is the numerator, and there is the divisor, or the denominator. And the, the amount that's left over is called the remainder. Let me show this with a couple of examples. Suppose that we take 5 and divide it by 2. Let's assume that I have 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I start dividing these by 2's. So what I want to know is how many times does 2 go into 5? Well, it goes in one time. And it goes in two times. And I'm actually going to not worry about the count. It went in two times, and that's fine. What I really care about when, I, when I'm talking about remainder is actually the amount that's left over. So there's one totally left over, and that will be the remainder. So this is remainder of one. Let's do another one. Suppose I had uh, four divided by two. And I have four boxes and I start dividing twos into it. Goes in one time, two times, and there are none left over, so the remainder is two. Sorry, is zero. And, and that's how remainder works. Now, let's take a look at the actual problem that we're given. Uh, there's a bit of a twist here because they tell you that a is the dividend. And a is not a number, so we can't draw out the number of boxes. Well, in this case, I would simply suggest that you pick, pick a number. Um, you can't pick any number, but you have to pick a number such that the remainder is 5 when you divide by 8. So if we're, we know we're going to divide by 8, let's draw out 8 boxes which we know our number will fit into evenly, because we're dividing by it. So these eight boxes will surely be filled. And then let's draw five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now when we come back to, so this is, let me write this out, this is 13 boxes now. So 13 will become our dividend, and 13 is A. I'm defining it to be A. And if we take 13 divided by 8, we want to know what the remainder is. And let's come down here and divide our 8 away. And there are, surprise, surprise, 5 left over. Remainder, 5. Which is not a surprise, because that's how we built this set of 13 boxes is to have a remainder of 5. Well, now we can answer the real question, which is what happens, what is the remainder when 6a is divided by 8? So now we're going to do 6a, which is 6 times 13 divided by 8. 6 times 13 is 78. And let's divide that by 8. Well, it helps to pick a number close to 78 that we know 8 will go into. Because we don't, we don't want to draw out 78 boxes. Um, if you plug in 78 over 8 into a calculator, you get 9.75. So let's use the number 9. 9 times 8 is 72. So I'm going to say, so, so, and we know. 72 is divisible by 8. So let's draw sort of a fictional 72 boxes. right? I'm not going to draw them all, but we'll draw kind of a squiggle in here. And the idea is this is the 72nd box. right? So here's our 
row of boxes. And we need a 78 boxes. So I'm going to draw box 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. And let's start filling these out. So I'm going to start filling out sets of eight, which I know, by the way, will evenly fill 72 boxes. And what's the remainder? There will be six left over. So the remainder will be six, which is E. And so now you've seen remainders can get fairly complicated. But if you think about them in a logical way, and you have nice tools like drawing out boxes, shading them in, you can simplify it into something manageable.